It's not the first object, but it was 3D printed in space. All right, well there it is. The 3D printed wrench. Now, I did some different calibrations on my uh on my print and uh well, that came off easy. And I'm not so sure that this is the size and I have no idea if it's going to work. So, let's uh let's find out, shall we? Hope it does. Otherwise, I'll reprint it with different settings. I did use Cura for this as mentioned. So, my uh my normal settings work pretty good with the uh, the raft like this, so let's see if we can get this one off without hurting myself. I'm going to use this guy. I like printing on these rafts because uh, If I have any imperfections in my bed or the goop on my bed, it will not interact with the uh, with the print, and it just it just ends up leaving a nice finish, finished result. Depending on your settings, this comes off really easy or really hard. But I figured out if you get a knife in between there you're not actually cutting the plastic you're just giving this thing a tiny little spot to to pry off so um, let's see if this is actually gonna do its job you can actually see a little bit of the internal workings there I'm not uh, I'm not sure about that so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put this on here and we're gonna have to go over in the uh, in the vise and see if we can break this loose because it is printed slightly tight hopefully we don't break the end off because <laughs> 50 percent infill not bad feels good in my hand strong enough I'm sure so let's go see if we can break it loose alright so before I break this loose I'm I'm gonna kinda try to tap on this a little bit and see if we can uh, break it loose but it doesn't feel like it. I have a feeling right now that this isn't going to work out so well. I think it's a little tight. Oh man. Well. That's a problem. I guess we're going to have to go ahead and crack this puppy open. Oh there it went. Now it's probably free. Well, if I would have broken that free slightly differently, yes indeed, these parts are completely isolated from each other. Now the ratcheting gear mechanism in there doesn't look so good. It appears as if it is not okay. This portion is okay. Actually, if you look inside of there, there's that nice bevel inside there. See it? And it doesn't look bad like it was not attached to anything. I think that would have spun pretty free. Let's try it again. Okay, so I printed another one with different settings this time. So. Let's see if we can get this one apart. This one's a little thicker. It's got more surroundings on the outside to try to make the center thicker. So let's tap on it with the hammer and see if we can break it loose.
after some manipulation, I got it to turn, and uh, still don't work. The catch does not catch, so I will be doing this again. This is not free. See how these are not free, and so uh, so this this doesn't work very well. And I cracked the side a little. Now, honestly, you could probably tighten some stuff with that and it would just slip because I can hardly get it to turn. So it might actually still be useful. We'll have to do some more work on this. Alright, third time's the charm, right? So I'm currently using my, uh, my homemade filament for this. So this over here is my homemade filament extruder setup, and um, the filament is actually a little bit out of spec, a tiny bit so that uh, what I did was uh, change the diameter in um, Cura to point uh, 1.8 millimeters instead of the 1.75, and you can actually see now there's a gap down in there. It's hard to see, but it's there. So, now look at that. I'd even fix that problem for the most part. See how much better that was? So much better. So, let's tap on that one and uh, crank on it and see if it works. There we go. Now we're working. Success. All right. So there is the wrench. And it does appear to work. So let's go use it on some stuff. Yeah. Ooh, that's better. So to finish up the um, wrench, let me get it. Oh, let's see if I can pull it apart. I'll set this down. There we go. So to finish up the wrench, all right. The reason I actually wanted to even print this thing, I printed an extension, all right, with a square hole, and I also printed a key, but this is actually for my clock. Good job, kiddos. Dinner's still on the table. I want to make this because my clock quit. Perfect. It's kind of dark in here. Yes, it is. <laughs> Can't see it. Don't touch it, though. Well, we gotta tap it on there a little better. It doesn't really stay on the ratchet. Ta -da! Now the key is, um, whoops, the key, the key works, but my goodness, it is like really, really hard to actually like wind this thing. Yep, is it going? It's going to Elijah? That is why you need up. We're going to go up 
Oh, that key definitely gives your arm a workout. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right. Oh, last marshmallow. No. Can I have it? Mmm. Hey, thanks. High five. Knuckles. Whoops. Broke it. Nope, not. I know it's not gonna work. Okay, high five. Knuckles. Thumbs up. What's next? Boom! Elijah, Elijah, don't touch. Let's swing it. Watch. See? Like that. It's dark in there. We can't see. Okay, back up. Let's shut the door. I don't know how it got dark. Shut the door. Watch his head. Let him do it. He can do it. He can do it. Okay, that's good. Good job. You just push and then it swings. Yep. Okay, high five, Elijah. Knuckles. Thumbs up. Headbutt. Ah, good boy. All right. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of the video. That's really why I printed this thing, but uh, it is it is pretty cool. And uh, it does actually function. Although it started slipping while I was using it. I usually just use it as a crank. Bring my finger around it. All right. Peace out. Let me, go, let me know what you guys think. Later. Say bye. Bye. And one more thing. This is when you know you're tired. When everybody is awake screaming. I fell on the roof. And you've got one like this. Out oh, like a light. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Everyone else is screaming.